Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolays at Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333, and we're going to be doing exhibition matches today, starting with a match between Icons and North Chilean G on Desert Needle Small. This map is not one I have seen in a long time. Let's get this thing started. So, Icons, sorry, North Chilean G going for the Jump Out Factory, Icons going for the Light Vehicle Factory. I gotta say, I kind of agree with Icons more just due to the size of the map. This map is long, it's flat, it's fairly large. The rush distance is probably about a couple minutes for bots and probably about a minute and a half, maybe at most a minute for vehicles. So really I think Icons is going to have a much easier time expanding around the map. Not sure why North Chilean G went for jump bots other than a particular cheese and they are going for that cheese. Basically you jump, you put jumpers here, jump onto this cliff and then you jump down here and then you end up attacking from the back. Your opponent doesn't expect that and then you just hit them from behind and you win right away. But that's kind of like one chi strategy, and even then, the rush distance is still quite long. So yeah, that's the only reason I, that you go jump on this map, is basically to jump on this cliff and get past. That's it. There's no other reason. On the other hand, Ikins has the straightforward approach of just sending Scorchers into North Chilean G's base, or Levelers or Ravagers. Obviously, Ravagers will be the biggest option. Though, I imagine we might see some Slashers just because on a map like this, having defenses allowing you to expand and creep forward really does help. But Ikins is going to be going for Scorchers at first, while North Chilean G going for that Pyro, and the Pyro is one of the Pyros is up. I expected to have two Pyros, not just the one, because having one Pyro, that's going to give it away without really letting you do the whole strategy. And yeah, this is an updated version of Desert Needle Small. The only... I mean, there might be a difference from Metal... Oh, it does, actually. Yeah, it was usually 3.1s before. These are all 2.0s now. It's also not got that silly little message that pops up before. You guys didn't see it or wouldn't have seen it because I would have started the game and that wouldn't have been there, but it's not there anymore. But yeah, this is what I mean. That one pyro is not enough to get through. Two pyros even would have been kind of tricky, but one pyro is not enough if your opponent has any kind of defenses in their base, and Ikins does. Ikins has the Lotus, and that, that just about does it. And yeah, this is Desert Needle 3.2, not Desert Needle 3.1. Every previous time I've shown Desert Needle, it's been Desert Needle 3.1, not 3.2. So this is not what you think it is, or at least not what I've done before. New map. Well, slightly updated map. Anyway, now we're going to see why I said light vehicles are the better choice on this map, because Icons, with the five Scorchers coming in here, and not much to defend. There's there's a defender, there's about, there's about two, one pyro, three puppies. I mean, each puppy is going to be about 400 damage, no, yeah, 400 damage. So that's, oops. That is not one Scorcher dead. It takes two puppies to kill a Scorcher. So that's not going to work. Sorry, North Chilean G, that's really not going to work. So Icons is going to have an easier time getting in. North Chilean G is going to have to rely a bit more on cheesing it out, I guess. There's really no other way I can think of for North Chilean G to get in. At any rate, North Chilean G, they're getting their reclaim up. They don't have enough energy to make use of their reclaim. Icons, on the other hand, they are building up more metal extractors, but they need more. They also kind of need more energy, but not to the point that they're going to be accessing metal right now. North Chilean G, on the other hand, they are risking excessing metal. They need more energy. I don't know why they aren't building energy. Probably just hasn't really crossed their mind. I mean, they expected to have a strong cheese game early on, and now they're just trying to go for these puppies. That's that's all they've got at this point, which is not a lot, gotta say. Icons, on the other hand, a little bit too timid to attack. They're rather worried. It looks like they don't even want to attack. They just want to contain. They just want to make sure that North Chilean G isn't able to get out and do any real damage. However, with all the puppies North Chilean G has 18 puppies, yeah, that's more than enough to get rid of all of these Scorchers without any real risk to the Pyros. Although, unfortunately, one of the Pyros does die, despite the fact that there are enough puppies to take care of the Scorchers with no issues. Granted, North Chilean G did not know that at the time, but now they most likely do, and now they probably have regretted that slightly. Granted, North Chilean G does, I think, have a larger army. But Ikens' army is much more suited for the map, much more suited for the... Well, for harassing around the map, for raiding. Not so much for a direct head-on assault, though. North Chilean G has a much better defensive army with those puppies. That's really all there is to it. So right now, Icons play in the contain game, and I don't really know if they're going to be able to do it that well. On this map, it's not hard to try to just go around and expand along. I mean, there's 10 metal right here, 10 metal right here, another 10 metal at the front. So that's 30 metal. That's enough metal for two factories easy, or to have one factory running triple time. That is no problem. That's not a problem. 
On the other hand, North Chilean G, I mean, that's the thing. They have all that metal they can work with. Their main bottleneck has been energy, and North and the commander's go, going to deal with that, so that's not going to be a problem for much longer. While on the other hand, Iken's trying to attack, trying to harass, but they can't really contain any low... They can't stop North Chilean G from getting anything less than 30 metal per second. Now, Iken's on the other hand, of course, can't easily get 40 or so. Just going here, get another 10, and going in the northwest, get another 10. Or in this case, going, yeah, all the way to the northwest corner. That's another 10 metal per second. So it's still going to work out. It's just a bit harder. And the harder part is that Ikens just can't really stop North Chilean G from getting that second factory. Like an air factory or another vehicle factory. Like jump in air at once would be kind of silly. Although, admittedly, Pyro Drop, with the amount of defenses in the main base, it's not actually a good idea. So I don't know why I brought that up, because a Pyro Drop would probably just die. But still, my point is... It is quite possible for North Chilean G to get up two factories, no problem. And just be able to deal with the Scorchers without having to worry about the fact that they started Jump Bots. On a map like this, it really doesn't stop them. So yeah, Jump Bots are a weird choice, but at this point, I don't think it's going to be a problem. On the other hand, Light Vehicles are a really good choice, so Hikens just has that advantage just from the start. Doesn't need to have any other, issue, any other factories going on if they don't want to, although I think they will. I, I imagine they will, just because... Oh, there we go. There's the gunship plant. Because it's just the thing you do. You get 30 metal per second. Usually at that point, you build an air factory or gunship plant. Gunship plant usually now because gunships are the ones you want. But gunships... Gunships are awesome. I mean, gunships, you can also do any drops if you wanted to. I don't think that we're going to see any drops. No, we're not. We're, not, we're going to see probably banshees or rapiers. That's normally what you see off of gunships. And yeah, Sprang, I think you got a point there. North Chilean G playing too many team games recently. I guess I can kind of see, though. They're not building the energy. They are trying to set up... I mean, I don't know. Would jump bots really come up in a team game like this? I grant it, like I said before, there is this little area you can cheese in. That is an option. But otherwise, I don't really see how that would work out too well. Anyway, Ikens over here with the Levelers and Ravagers. North Chilean G. Trying to scout out to see if Ikens has built out up front. No, Ikens is going around the back. They've been entirely around the back and relatively well defended as well. Not super well defended, but against puppies against Lotus, the puppies will have to have overwhelming numbers. I think probably five or six just to get rid of one Lotus. Oh, and North Chilean G right here pointing out. They excess a lot. Yeah, but they got a fusion plant. So this game, they at least have that covered. The problem is, what do they want? What are they going to want to do after this? Because right now, they have. The, just the Jumbot Factory. It's running triple time, but that's not great. Really, it's not. When you compare it to the fact that there's a bunch of Rapiers coming in, Ikens has that jump, has that Gunship Factory. North Chilean G has 41 metal per second going. I mean, they could easily support another factory, but at the same time, Jumpbots don't really work super well in this map. The Moderators are doing okay. But this is entirely a defensive game. I mean, how is North Chilean G going to counterattack Punish if Ikens even loses their entire army? If Ikens loses their army, North Chilean G has to already be halfway to Ikens' base for that to matter. Otherwise, the defender's advantage will kick in and Ikens will just be able to win by having way too many units at their base once all said and done. Once North Chilean G's army has moved across the map. I'm just... The jump bot thing only really makes sense to me for the cheese in a map of this size. Ah, okay, North Chilean G pointing out, they were just trying to save what they had managed to get so far, and because that early cheese did not work. I'm just a bit surprised. I'm almost a bit surprised they didn't try it a second time. Almost. I mean, I mentioned before, if you try a cheese and it doesn't work, probably not a good idea to try it again. But, you gotta do it every once in a while, just to make sure that your opponent respects the fact that you could try it again, and they might want to actually build up enough defenses just in case. Because if they don't, then you're going to come in and just tear them to shreds. Also, yeah. CF earlier comments about puppies compared to everything else. However, Freakers are still not a bad army for going around the map. It's just... Hmm. That's actually not a bad thing, come to think of it. But at the same time, with the Rapiers... Ooh, actually, you know what? No, Rapiers... Rapiers only have, what, 1,100 health? Yeah, 1,100 health against 600 damage a shot. 500 damage a shot, sorry. Sorry, it's 500. But yeah. So that's still three shots... A moderator three shots a rapier. The moderator, I think, has a range advantage on the rapier, which means the rapier is going to have a much harder time. Yeah. Yeah, the moderator has a 60 elmo advantage on the rapier, meaning these moderators are actually a really good choice 
against the rapiers coming in. Because the rapiers just won't survive this. Like they, they'll be able to deal some damage, but at least four of them are going to die before the moderators get hit at all. Out of 11 or so? Yeah, 16 or so. So that's going to be really tricky. Whereas, at this point, North Chilean G knows exactly what Icons is up to thanks to this nice little swift here. That swift there is going to just basically give North Chilean G all the information they need. Icons, they've had their gunship plan revealed. And like I said, they don't even need Archangels. North Chilean G does not need Archangels. They have moderators. That's all they need. That's all they need at all. But here we see Icons decides to go for it. And they are going for it with 16 rapiers. The Swifts aren't really going to be too much of a threat, but the Moderators, like I said before, that is going to be the big threat. Yeah, Swift's going down. It looks like a couple Rapiers have... No, not even. Barely taking damage. The Thunderbird not able to deal much damage to be meaningful. But now the Moderators. This is where the problem comes in. Like I said, Moderators, three-shot Rapiers. Icons holding back. Avoids the Thunderbird. Has to deal with the Hawk. That's a problem. They've only lost one Rapier, though. Out of 15. And they do have a lot of metal. I mean, at this point, it's metal parity. Icons should be able to get their production up pretty quick. I mean, they're not quite... They're not pushing 50, though. They're pushing 40 in. So they're still starting to excess. The Rapiers look like they're moving back for a bit of repair, but honestly, the problem now is that North Chilean G actually does kind of have an opening. They are halfway to Icons' base. This is a little unexpected. But at the same time, the thing that Icons had was the Ground Factory, which is a bit moot. Although, admittedly, they are rebuilding levelers, levelers and Ravagers. But the big advantage they had was their Ground Factory had much more mobility. But North Chilean G is basically going, you know what? I don't care. I don't care if you have the mobility. I'm going to just come in with half a dozen, or a dozen moderators. You know, a dozen and a half moderators. And just plow down. Not even going give to give any cares to anything you have. Of course, at the same time, Icons can just start building crashes if they want to, or not even going to bother. I mean, they might have to deal with Ravens. They do have a hacksaw just in case Ravens come in. I imagine that's why Icons is doing it. I'm fairly certain that Ravens do die to hacksaws, but honestly, people don't build hacksaws very often. So I think it's more a matter of hoping for the best. And Hawks, Razors against Rapiers. The Rapiers are not doing too well. It's only it's four Rapiers have died so far. Granted, they killed off two or three Hawks, but that's not... Great. That's really not what those rapiers want. Another hawk's going to go down. Possibly two. But even then, it's not really ideal. That's, se that's seven rapiers down. That is about 2,100 metal down. And how much hawks? Hawks cost about 300 metal each? Yeah, hawks cost the same. That was easy two to one for the hawks. And now the placeholder's just nullifying the mobility advantage of Iken. So Iken's army right now is basically kind of stuck. Icons, however, does have another 10 metal per second they can take. They can start going into Striders. They already have the hub if they want to go for Striders, so that's good. That works for them. And no, Moderators do not one-shot Scorchers. Oh, sorry, one Moderators do one-shot Scorchers. My mistake. Yeah, Moderators do. They are 500 damage. It's Puppies that don't one-shot Scorchers. Puppies have to two-shot them. They're like 10 health left in the Scorchers after the Puppy hits. But Moderators is 500 health on 420... For, sorry, 500 damage on 420 health, so the Scorchers die. Scorchers absolutely die. No question about it. But at the same time, it's really a matter of... Icons does not have the army right now. I mean, they have a bunch of Ravagers, they have the Levelers, that's pretty good. But at the same time, North Chilean G has the placeholder and moderator to help deal with that. And it looks like they're just going to try to confuse this situation. Put up a bunch of new rapiers to stop the moderators from doing a lot of damage to the ground forces and stop the placeholders from doing much, allowing the Ravagers and Levelers to come in and get rid of the moderators on reload time, possibly. That or just raid around and not worry about it. Just raid around the side where North Chilean G is not and take advantage of mobility because that's what Icons can do. Icons has the leveler, or sorry, the live vehicle factory. And the live vehicle factory has mobility. This is exactly what I mean. Icons has the map. Icons just doesn't necessarily have the way to get into North Chilean G's base immediately. And North Chilean G, for their part, doesn't really have a whole lot to break out. At least doesn't look like it. Maybe I'm wrong. But, I mean, North Chilean G is going to want to break out at some point. Otherwise, they're not going to have much chance. And those rapiers... Actually, well, half a dozen rapiers left. The hawks... How many hawks are left? Only these two. Granted, there's no ground-based anti-air. The levelers kind of sort of work that way, but against hawks is not the best idea. So I don't imagine that'll come up. 
What I do imagine will come up is, well, the Dante, of course, that'll come up, because Strider Hub means Dante, usually. Granted, Scorpions are a thing, but I don't think we're going to see that. Well, on the other hand, the sheer amount of forces that Icons has from that economic, well, more territory advantage, that hasn't even converted this territory into economy yet. There's still 10 metal per second Icons could trivially take without any risk, and they haven't taken it yet. Not sure why, but I don't think it'll matter. At this point, though, even if the rapiers go down, I think that Icons should be able to just push in more or less immediately. That'll... Oh, no, not quite. No, there's a lot of moderators. Almost two dozen moderators. This is where it becomes tricky. I mean, once again, Ravagers against moderators. Moderators four-shot Ravagers. The Dante is really going to be the thing to push through, and even the Dante is going to have some problems, because really, when you think about it, the Dante, okay, yeah, it doesn't have that low health. It's going to take a lot of moderator shots to kill it, but the problem isn't killing it. The problem is slowing it down so it becomes less than useful. But I don't think that'll be a big problem. I think that ultimately that Dante is going to push it in for Icons victory. I mean, if Icons does have any problems, I mean, they can take more. And, oh, nice Wolverine's always a good idea. If you have a bunch of problems with skirmishers, build up artillery. That's really the way to go. That does help take care of them. Now, the Raptors that can get in are getting in, and even then, this is, this is what I mean, though. The moderators, the sheer number of moderators is making it very difficult for any real damage to be dealt. I mean, Icons has lost so many more forces than North Chilean G, just thanks to those moderators. Now the Dante... Oh, the Dante not quite disarmed. Very... Oh, no, it is disarmed. What am I saying? Yeah, three seconds of disarm left. Honestly, though, I don't think it'll matter. And now, I mean, with Icons with his army up the back, and North Chilean G having barely any economy left, and the Dante pretty much able to artillery out these moderators, this is, I think, done. Yeah, this is. there's going to be one moderator left, or for that group, but it's going to be three or four moderators left at the end of all this. And that'll just about finish it. Of course, Icons with the killing blow right now with the Wolverines and Ravagers, just to finish this area off, but I think... Probably we'll see a surrender in about a minute or two. I don't really see North Chilean G lasting too much longer than that. I could be wrong, but yeah. And I know Wolverine's kind of a skirmisher, but it's kind of an artillery too. It's more of an artillery than a skirmisher. I mean, considering its range... When you consider Wolverine range is 730 against the 420 of the moderator... Yeah, the moderator is definitely not going to be able to hit that Wolverine unless the Wolverine player, Wolverine controlling player, makes a mistake with them. Playing it normally, though, no, it's not going to happen. That's not going to happen at all. And it looks like the Dante has retreated a bit. Hardly damaged, though. Nothing's really hurt the Dante. It just doesn't have any supporting forces. Well, it had, had supporting forces. It has supporting forces now. But it's still kind of problematic. I don't... I don't know why that Dante moved back. That Dante was actually under no threat. Not any real threat. I mean, all the moderators are basically... There's three moderators left. There's firewalkers being built. How many firewalkers are there? Two? Three? There's three... Well, two on... Two out, one under production. And that's really kind of tricky to keep going. Like I said, the moderators really were the main support force going on. With them down, the firewalkers don't have much to defend. Granted, the Faradays are being a problem, but even with that, the Wolverines will just take down the Faradays, and the, I mean, the Faradays are exposing themselves just to do all the shots that they're doing. And it's not quite in range of the Stardust either. I mean, a couple of them were, but a lot of these aren't. So ultimately, those Faradays are going to get overwhelmed, and stun themselves for some reason, but ultimately going to get overwhelmed, and then that'll be it. I mean, how many Wolverines are there? There's 40... No, oh, that's 45. That's right there. 29 Wolverines right here? Really? Oh, 29 Wolverines up here, too. Yeah, 29 Wolverines just bearing down on this defensive position. And now North Chilean G is going to throw in the towel. Do they have any other options? No, they do not. That's it. That is game. North Chilean G throws in the towel. Icons takes the game. I mean, that was the thing. That one cheese the start did not really work out. And as a result, Icons had no real problem just pushing in. There was really not much left. So, yeah, that was game one. The first game of the night. Second game is going to be between Anir and Silent Shadow on Wanderlust. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.